What's up, LC? I'm Jimmy Lefakis. And I'm Paul Centeni. And we are back and better than ever with your sports update for Monday, February 23rd, 2015. First, we would like to congratulate our girls basketball team on an amazing run. They made waves this season, and I know Paul thoroughly enjoyed watching them play. To our six successful seniors, thank you for your time here. The tribe will always roll. The boys basketball team took a loss to Crown Point on Friday. There was a pie eating contest at halftime and Sam or Musla chowed down to win a $25 gift card to Dunkin Donuts. Now that was fun to watch. The boys basketball team and the gymnastics team will have their senior nights this Friday against South Bend Adams. Speaking of those two, the Indians will play Munster in the first round of sectionals at East Chicago. That game will be played on Tuesday, March 3rd. The gymnastics team has a busy week ahead and they will get rolling tomorrow against the Hobart Brickies. The boys swimmers flexed their muscles at sectionals on Saturday. Connor Holmans won the 100 free, Josh Brahas finished in second at the 100 fly, and Alex Morgan finished second at the diving competition. Gavin Bassia, Ryan Kalinske, Connor, and Josh also qualified for state at IUPUI for the 400 relay. Josh broke two records set by the former swimmer and current teacher, Todd Smolinski. The Warriors of the Water placed second overall. Congratulations, guys. Three wrestlers made the trek to Hollow Banker's Life Fieldhouse this weekend. We would like to congratulate Brandon Truver, Cody Christensen, and Jay Clay Mola on excellent seasons. Truver finished fifth in the 126-pound weight class and defeated a longtime rival. It was a great way to cap off an amazing campaign. Our Centralettes won the 21st consecutive regional championship this weekend. It was a clean sweep around the board, both JV and varsity. Varsity received an 88 in hip-hop and a 92 in jazz. Congratulations to the ladies and the best of luck in the Sunshine State. A special shout out goes out to Science Olympiad for going to state. That wraps up your weekend synopsis. I'm Jimmy Lefakis. And I'm Paul Centeni. And remember, the word gullible has been removed from the English dictionary. Did you know that, Paul? I did not know that, Jimmy, but that is a great tip of the day. <laughs> Peace and much love. Jimmy and Paul.